So here we have the Carter ETW-1 from an M37. And I see a lot of people don't really understand how the accelerator pump works on these carbs. So I'll try to explain it to you. So right on the bottom of the carb we have a little hole right here. You can see that. So that hole goes into this vacuum passage here. You can see where the vacuum passage goes up into the top of this chamber. Now you take the top of the carb off. This is a stripped carb, it doesn't have a float or anything in it. So there's your accelerator pump there. There's the pump well. So you, see, you can see there's absolutely no linkage that actually connects this pump to anything. The pump gets sucked up by the manifold vacuum. It's under a spring pressure. When you step on the gas, your manifold vacuum drops and it pushes your plunger down. So if you're starting your truck and you're treading on the gas pedal thinking you're going to be working the accelerator pump, well, the throttle doesn't do anything on this until the engine's actually running, really. So that's your accelerator pump. And then you have to sometimes put some ballastol or needs foot oil on the pump leather. So you can just see how it works. You can put it in here. That's a good, that's actually a little bit too tight. And this is your integral governor. The governor on this particular carb doesn't work. It's something is, I think the chain has come disconnected or something inside. So I haven't, uh, this has just been a spare for many, many years. One day I'll rebuild it. Anyway, I hope that helps uh, someone get a better understanding of how the carb works.